In this episode, my old man and I head offshore to gather some fresh seafood for Christmas with the family. It's an ingredient, that's for sure. On the menu is fish. There we go. Yep. And of course, some tasty crabs. I am falling for some serious colour. I think we found the honey hole. Hope you enjoy the show. Have a go, man! Our first port of call for the day was trying to wrangle the fish component from one of my local fads. Here we go. Here you go, Ted. Thanks. You grab him. All right. Little hook up. Leave that other one out, I think. Well, good morning, ladies and gents, and welcome to another Sammy Itsuki fishing adventure. I'm out here with a phantom today, and we are doing some Christmas grocery shopping. Christmas is not far away, and we've got the whole family coming around to my place. That's six adults and all the kids, so we need some seafood. First port of call, we thought we'd chuck, oh, he's a nice fish, chuck the, uh, the lures out and have a bit of a trial, see if we couldn't get something pelagic, maybe a mahi-mahi or something of that nature. Bear with me. Oh, you're right. You stay there, I'll move the boat around you. <clears throat> you go around. Yep. <sighs> all happening. It's all happening. He's coming in. He's coming in. He's a nice little fish. It's an ingredient, that's for sure. Alright, so step forward. He's a nice little fish. <laughs> well, there's half. We're halfway there. Halfway there. He's a nice little fish. Ceviche or sashimi? Well, it could be a combination of both. So you hold that. Well, what I might do is I'll grab this hook out for you because no one wants that in them. Send that down the back and you're about to get a dirty hand. Chuck your hand in the gills and hang on tight. Look at that, guys. Sun has just popped and we're on the board. It's a nice little fish, nice little cow dolphin fish to start the, uh, start the morning. Look at that golden flanks. Beautiful. Spots of blue there. Very nice. Now that is a lovely start. Now realistically I think we need probably another one that size and maybe a snapper or um, a wahoo or a mackerel, something of that nature. Or we'll go three mahi mahi, I'm not too fast. We just need a bit of fish and then the floats are on board. It's not Christmas without some crabs so we'll be going spanner crabbing straight after this but obviously first port of call. Get some fish in the boat, and that is a lovely, lovely start. Nicely done. Now obviously, for the table, brain spike and bleed. It shouldn't be a surprise anymore. Well, that's a start. With that mahi-mahi now chilling down nicely in the ice box, the race was on to get the lures back in the water quickly to see if we couldn't capitalise on the bite. Righto, rods are back out. See if we can get number two. Just coming past the fart now. Go a double. A bit more efficient. Unfortunately, we never got another touch despite doing multiple passes through the area. Eventually, some more boats arrived and we figured our best chances of success were more than likely behind us and it was time to change plans. Let's go get a snapper. Let's go get a snapper. Well, no more hits on the dollies. 
So, we're gonna big old sidestep and uh, see if we can't find a snapper or a pearly. And then if we can't find one of them, lures back out, try and find a marlin. Or a dolly or a wahoo. We're just gonna go down the list until we catch something for Christmas food. So, out having a snapper fish. Tez and Rodney are on catchies. And I'm also gonna drop a pilly down as well. Just float line styles. I just wanna beat Rodney. Don't we all? That's the impossible task, that is. coming off this reel than ever has before. Oh no. Well, that's a good start. Phantom's on. On the old catchy. I've got Rodney down. I'm just drifting down a pilly to see if that works. Ooh, having a little go, is it? Yeah. Hope there's no sharks. Well, they're endangered, so you don't have to worry about them. Ah, oh, okay. You let me know when you need a net. Yeah, okay. Where is it? Just oh, there. Man. There he comes. Got him? He's coming up. Nice clear water. I thought it might have been a, uh, a pearly. Pearly? Put him straight in. Yeah, if he's only a small, is he going to be legal? No, uh, I don't think so. It's underwhelming. Yeah. There he is. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not holding him really well. Well, I've got a little hookup as well. Emphasis on little. Well, he's just a little one. He's not going to get there. So I got bopped on the pilly, but I think I may have suffered the same fate. Small pearly syndrome. It affects two out of three bodies. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It could happen to anyone. He isn't. Maybe a little bigger. Nowhere near. There you go. Right idea. Wrong execution. Well, it's Rodney's turn now. He'll show us up. Yeah, you'll get a 70. With no more hits for the drift, we headed back up for another crack. There was fish there, just making them bite was proving to be a challenge. We stuck to the same game plan. Tez and Rodney on the catchies, and I was still float lining a pilly. No bumps? Hmm? No bumps? No, 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 no. There we go. There's a snap. Go yep. Can you take that right out of gear? Well, the float line. It's just got an inquiry. I'm just getting to the end of the drift and it just took off. Hopefully nice little snapper. That would be ideal. Oh, there's a little head nod. Need a net? Oh, not yet. We'll get a look at him first. There's a bit of colour. That's the right colour too. Oh, beautiful. That's an eater. That is an eater. Very nice. It's all good. There we go. It's a healthy little one. Absolutely gorgeous eating size. That is probably just nudging 60. 
good bit of meat on that and he will be coming with us for the feed he's uh he's red he's Christmassy beautiful chipping away one dolly one snapper probably need one more snapper in that class or a big pearly or something of that nature and then I think it might be crab time There we go. Yep. Yep. Oh, he's a nice fish. Very nice fish. Look at that. Well, this is the one we've been looking for. This guy feels a little bit more substantial. Had a nice little run there. Screamed off with it too. Playing hard to get today. A lot of waiting between hits. Hopefully this is that nice kind of high 60s models. That'll just about sort us right out. Here he comes. Beautiful fish. And that guy, I think, he might pull us out of the proverbial. That's fish tacos, that is. That is a snapper tacos, a little bit of a zesty lime mayonnaise dressing. Delicious. And there he is. I've got to talk quick before this camera overheats again. It's quite muggy today. Not much breeze. But snapper number two. And I reckon two snaps of that size will just about round out fish tacos nicely. We might do another couple of drifts, see if we can't make for certain. But so far we've got ceviche sorted and we've got fish tacos sorted. All we need is some Chrissy crabs. We're going along pretty good. We're working for it though, it's not coming easy. We are definitely working for them. But I'll tell you what, we're certainly not complaining either. And don't mind all the bags, that's uh, the old spanner crab bait clean out. The old freezer gets a bit chockers after a while. There's a nice little snapper nest. I called 67. And I'm not bloody bad, 66 and a half. Is that it on the thing at your end? Yep, just a tad over. Lovely. That is a cracking fish. And that is a nice feed coming together in there. We figured one more drift wouldn't hurt. go with a bit of luck this is going to be our number three uh, certainly not on we've done many drifts now and uh, I haven't even seen Rodney get a hit Tez has had a couple of bumps and um, yeah I'll be glad to get this guy up so we can go do something else if we can see this one that is definitely the fish element sauteed doesn't it won't stop us from having a trial phantom you're on the screen when was the last time you caught a marlin <laughs> off the gold coast a long way out and that would be uh 45 years ago 
fishing for snapper with a great big snapper lead and a three six o's and a pilchard. That was a surprise. Well, I think you've been on the boat for a few marlin captures now, so it must be your turn. Yeah, that'd be nice. Look, I'll stick my hand, I'll take the wahoo. You can have the marlin. Oh, and I'll yeah. certainly take this guy. That's an ingredient. Thank you, con sir. That is an ingredient. Only biting out that side of the boat, it, my bad. Yes. There he is. Third and final. Probably he'd be maybe just touching the 60, kind of high 50s marks. Not a big fish, but he's certainly the perfect size to get the job done for us. We said we needed probably one more. That guy will do it. Now, for anyone wondering what the go is with that little sinker there, it's nothing special. I just didn't have any of the uh, right size ball sinkers to use on my float line, so I pinched one of the uh, the weights off a catchy style jig and sent it down. Whether the color and flash makes any difference, we'll never know, but uh, it sure looks good up here and it probably, you know, gets you guessing, but whether the fish care when there's a whole pilchard behind it, we, we don't know, but it looks good and uh, look, it, it worked today. So we're gonna chalk that up as a win, get this guy on the ice, um, we're out a bit far for the spanner crabs, so we're going to chuck some lures in and uh, see if we can tick off a marlin or, or something cool on the way into the spanner crabbing grounds. And then it's hardcore spanner crabbing from here on in until we get bored of that and go trolling again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look, we've got the fish component of Christmas grocery shopping. It's sorted now. We can rest easy. Righto, that's the spread. Purple, pink. Dark natural, supernatural, actually it's gonna go like that. Little flying fish kind of color. And then you can't beat a Lumo. So that's the four, we're gonna troll a spread of four. If we drive over something and they don't want one of those, then uh, they're not hungry. Should they red and green in the spread, Christmas. Well, there's pink and green, close enough. Now, you are right, this is my snapper combo, ideally, this isn't the rod that goes off. That would be great if it didn't, but hey, I'm not on strike. So that can be Tez for the next hour and a half if we hook a 70 kilo black. It's only got 30 pound mono on it, no backing, no nothing. That's a, uh, that's a Tez problem. The conditions had absolutely turned it on with zero wind to speak of, so it was nice to finally get a bit of breeze in the face while we trolled. We had about 15 k's to run to the spanner crab spot and all of it was prime pelagic zone, so I was quietly confident we'd see some action. Although as time ticked by with zero positive signs to spark some pelagic interest, even the phantom was starting to lose faith. about an hour of trolling maybe a touch more in the uh, in the bag zero hits which isn't great um, but at least we got that out out of the way so then when we go trolling again we're already in the negative ready for capitalizing on the old uh, hookups yeah I don't know anyways grab time right uh, here's the production line Tez is on the baits Jamming these little packets full. Big freezer clean out all the baits that's been bought out on trips. November 22 was a good year for bait. Uh, all the all the bait that's come out and since passed away and been defrosted and yada yada yada. And then I'm on the final trim. Hook the rope on, floats are out the back. 
Got a couple of weights on this time. Hopefully stop the pots from moving around, or the trays I should say. And uh, with a bit of luck, we're gonna get ourselves a big old feed. Now we're gonna be checking these fairly frequently. We're gonna aim for every half an hour. So should be by the time we get four trays down, we should be ready to go back to the start and start pulling. Anyway, that's the, that's the plan, that's the theory. Time to get to work. Okie dokie. <clears throat> You just know this is going to suck to pull up, but... Number two. And of course, a lot of you guys love seeing the underwater footage last time, so we're only putting one camera down this time, but hopefully we get some cool footage. That looks like a good spot right there. See ya! Speaking of seeing cool stuff, here's a bull shark and a few cobia following him around, including one nice one that I'd love to put a hook in one time. Alright, well that's a touch over half an hour. Pot number one, tray number one I should say. Started off strong with a good gaff shot, at least. Oh, I don't. Other than the, uh... It doesn't actually feel that heavy. <laughs> no. Either that or I've got significantly stronger. Oh, I don't. There's some... There's some tray colour. What about that red colour? I can't see any red. Zero red colour. Right. So they're not there. Okay. It's not a good start. Pull number two, proudly brought to you by Phantom Power. Any confidence? Uh, no. I don't think so. This feels like the tray. Even when we go down in the swell, it doesn't, doesn't hold so up. It doesn't fight back. Yeah, there we go, a bit of colour. Oh, is that one? I think there's one. Just needs to be three and a half kilos. <laughs> it's one and it's on the wrong side. That's interesting. He might be legal though. There we go, the phantom has struck. Let's, um, you hold him trait. There we go. That is a one. We're about 19 short, and we don't even know if this one's legal yet, but here's hoping. I reckon it is. He is. Well done, Tez. Well, he's frothing about it. Yeah, he's absolutely frothing. Alrighty. One. Okay. There's my sandwich. Well, Captain's tax is in full effect. Well, hopefully he's got some mates to join him soon. <laughs> it's got a bit more weight to lower it, has it? Yeah, that's got more weight to it. Oh, I can see one, Tez. Excellent. I can see two, Tez. Two, double your score. Oh, I can see a few. I think we got two legals there. That guy couldn't be less legal. So show us how to measure them, Tez. Whoa! Hanging on. So here to that full, there's a little point there, a little bit hard to see. He's got a bit of moss on him. But if you put that there, hold it, and then try and scrub that there, he's well and truly, well me, and truly in. Let me have a quick crack at that, see if we've have got a, a two for Oh no! No! Yeah. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I reckon he's lost his spike. He has. He has. But, oh, well. That's not bad. fair. Too bad. Anyways. Have to go back. See you, mate. It looks promising, but only a, uh, a one. But we're going to put our 
I reckon we put Trey back down here because there was a bit of action. Yes, that was a good idea. Right, uh, this is pot number four, and Tez, I'm calling some colour. Feels heavy. I am calling some colour, some serious colour. I think we found the honey hole. Oh no! What? One drop off. <laughs> oh yes. That's that's oh. them. Champion spanner tray puller. Oh yeah. That's all we want. Oh yes. No, <laughs> no. That's well all we done. Want. Well, Tez has just pulled the tray. Hey. Now that's making some progress. That's the crab action we're looking for. So that's a good tray. We're going to uh, have to put him back here. Also, going to have to do some processing. Look at them. There's some good ones there. Nice, nice. All right. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's an eight pot. Hey, you got a flock of birds, a gaggle of gazeek, a gaggle of geese. What do you call this? Quite a fair few. Um, Christmas dinner. <laughs> hey, look, at that. look at that. He's heavy. There's the, there's the little nook I have for them. We might have just outgrown it. 9, 10, 11. Good. And here's some highlights from the camera's time on the seafloor. So this is back to our first round of second pulls and uh, this is the pot that donutted for us the first time and I think it's done a great job at doing that again. It's going to be coming up in its quarterly performance evaluation that's for sure. Oh no we had, had a couple. They have got taxed. Yeah they got munched. Gotta be quicker. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh he dropped another one. Oh. There's a few. Good size though. Yeah. yeah. One. So I reckon they're all legal. Nice work! Woo! Jeez, you can't catch snapper, but geez, you can pull a spanner crab pot. <laughs> How many we got there? 16. <laughs> We're gonna have a pot off these two against uh, the eventual other two up there. <clears throat> there's a couple. Really? Yeah, there's a couple. Lilies. Daycare. Have I put a crab on? Well, they've been all from. Oh, one. Well, 
this is pot four, pull two. Too small, this is the one that was loaded up last time. Uh, not as good this time, only the one big buck there. That's a cracker though. And uh, two littlies. A couple of unders. It's all right. Well guys, we're back to the beginning. This is our third check. I think we got, what have we got, 17? We might only add one more to that. Oh. Definitely one more. That's a cracker. Big one, huh? Yeah, that's a spanner. Trying to get him to do the old arms out, but he, uh, he doesn't really want a bar of it. You get the idea. I don't. Three at least. Three exact good ones. Yeah. Oh. You are staying, my friend. Come in board. That's uh, three keepers. Lovely. I think it's 21 now, isn't it? No, didn't I have one on that other pot? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So 21. Oh, no, this is second last pull. We've called it. Last two pots produce donuts or trays. Donuts, but this one feels all right. No, just getting tired. Only one. I don't think he'll go. Right, yeah. He's going. Yeah. Yeah. Last pull of the day. It. And it's a one. Yeah. It's alright. That eight pot saved us. Yeah, He's leg. Well ladies and gents, that is Christmas shopping at its very, very finest. Crabs for days, ceviche fish tacos, crab sandwiches, crab pasta, crab pretty well however you want to have it. We got, I think we ended up with 22, so you're allowed 20 per person, obviously we're well under that. There's a fair bit of meat in these guys too, so I'm looking forward to really getting stuck into some, some crab, maybe even a beer, like I might even have a beer while I'm eating some crab, I don't know, I might even treat myself, we'll just see. If a beer happens, it happens, but uh, I'm gonna call that a win. I'm gonna call that a big, big win. Yeah. Uh, Christmas shopping done. Christmas shopping done. And look, there's no traffic. There's no one here. We're Hazel. I thought Christmas was meant to be the busy period, but no one here, that's all right. Anyways, we've got some miles to cover to get home. We've got to process all these guys, so next time you see us, we'll be back at home. Well guys, we're gonna snap this episode off there. I've filleted Mahi Mahi and Snapper both in recent episodes, also cleaned Spanner Crabs in another one. So we're not really breaking any new ground. Plus, it's Christmas Eve, so you guys should grab yourself another beer and go check out some cricket or go chat to the family, something along those lines. I'm gonna be doing the exact same. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Just remember, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by heading to my website, sammyhitskyfishing.com. Heaps of merch available there. Shirts, hats, D-hookers, all sorts of stuff. Go check it out and see if there's anything that tickles your fancy. Once again, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. A very Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. And I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky Fishing Adventure. Cheers. Only biting out that side of the boat, yeah, my bad. Yes.